statistics of children suffering from health diseases due to poor health practices or unhealthy lifestyle continue to remain high in PNG. While younger children are more vulnerable to these diseases, children in schools are also exposed to the same bacteria. A public-private partnership which started in 2008 between Colgate Palmolive, the Health and Education Departments and the United Nations organizations aimed to reduce the high cases of children dying from diarrhea and pneumonia. Um, the Global Handwashing Day is all about, I guess, education awareness for children about the importance of um, hygiene. and. Yes, last year was in a, in a small room in our office when we launched and we thought this year it was more prudent to, um, to come out to one of the schools and we chose Ted Dero um, primarily because they have their own hygiene program in place. Hand washing with soap is dangerously low in many countries, the UNICEF reports. At least 800 from the 1,400 diarrhea-related deaths worldwide are attributed to inadequate water, sanitation or poor hygiene. In Port Mosby, representatives from the concerned organizations gathered at Tediro Primary and observed the Global Hand Washing Day. And this year has been raise a hand for hygiene. So I think, you know, for parents at home, um, please understand the importance of your children um, having an education, having good education, turning up for school every day, um, and just make sure you have soap in the house, make sure you have water in the house. Make sure the children are washing their hands after they've been to the toilet because you don't want your children to be sick. Though a public demonstration was conducted on the correct procedures of hand washing, parents and teachers were urged to further continue the practice at home. Takla Gunga, National MTV News.